Oh, hello there. Welcome to another riveting video about guitar. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Yeah, Starbucks double shot. I was 90% sure I was gonna knock it over when I was trying to grab it. You wanna shred. Are you too old to shred? But um, I thought I would give you maybe an exercise if you are starting out, you know, playing guitar a little bit later or something like that. And just some, some pointers that I think I might have that could really lend themselves if you are just inspired to be a, you know, a shred guitar player. Uh, we're gonna jump on into this one. Not really tab. Actually, you know what? I will provide tabs for this exercise I'm gonna show and I'll show you the exercise right away. And uh, you can check out my free guitar course if you want to. But other than that, let's go ahead and jump into this. So before we get carried away, let's just jump right in. And we're just going to go, uh, the answer is obviously yes. It doesn't matter what age you start out. You can be a shredded guitar player, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I have some pointers later on that I think are very important. But let's talk about this one. So the answer is, of course, yes, you can shred. And I'm gonna show you an exercise that really, really will help you because so much of shredding and stuff like that is a lot of finger independence. And uh, this is an exercise I'll show you right here. <laughs> Now, what it is exactly is, it's a very simple chromatic idea, but it works on building a lot of finger independence. So you're gonna go eight to five on the highest string, then you're gonna go six, seven, eight, and then back down to seven, six, five. Okay, now you simply move up a string, but instead of starting on eight each time, you change a fret, so you go seven to five on the B. And then six, seven, eight, seven, six, five. On the G, you're gonna start on six, so you go six to five. Okay, so you have. Then the D string, it starts over again. I learned that years ago from a Steve I 10 hour workout. And I'm telling you, I use it every time when I'm warming up my hands, all that kind of stuff. So uh, let's just go ahead and get to why you can shred and just some you know things you might want to watch out for. So I'm going to say, um, this is just, you know, take literally grabbing a random number, that if you were starting guitar uh, past the age of 30, now you're not old, you're not any of that stuff, but you are starting a little bit later than most guitar players who start in their teenage years and stuff like that. So there's a few things to consider. Uh, one of the big things is obviously your time is going to be much more uh, kind of already taken. You have a job, family, other obligations, stuff you have to do. So there is going to be much more of a strain on your time. now. When you want to play shred guitar, this is something that is very, you know, technique heavy and takes lots and lots of hours. So I'm not trying to, you know, sugarcoat it for you. Um, it's just, it's going to take a lot of work. So you're going to need to prioritize time to set aside all those practice hours that you need to put in there. And like I said, it's a little bit tougher because, you know, we have much more responsibilities as adults than we did when we were, you know, 13 years old. But, you know, make sure you set aside that time and that's going to be a huge asset to you um, you know, really learning how to play that shred guitar. Now, unfortunately, there is one big factor that I think will lend itself to this. Um, you know, you're going to need to pay attention to what you have been doing <laughs> with your life. No, uh, what what is your job? You know, I know like my dad, who was a construction worker, you know, roofer, all that kind of stuff. Obviously, these are jobs that are much more strenuous on your fingers and on your wrist. So you have to really like, whenever you're starting, you suddenly will realize how much attention you need to pay to your wrist. I know I spend a lot of time realizing, I don't have them in here with me right now, they're in my car, but um, I wear wrist braces a lot on my hands. And, and for one of the biggest reasons is it reminds me to watch what I'm doing with my wrist. You know, sometimes you, you sit, you might be watching TV and you really like crank on your wrist while you're like leaning on it. Don't do that stuff. Pay attention to your wrist. If maybe you sit at a desk with a keyboard a lot where a carpal tunnel is a very real threat, all that kind of stuff, is you're going to have to acknowledge that side of stuff and start remedying it. Wear wrist braces a lot more. All that kind of stuff is going to really, really help you, for one, prolong your wrist, but also help you. Because like I said, when you're, when you're shredding, you need your wrist. <laughs> Now, 
Now, not that it can't be done, of course, because like I said, anybody can shred, but learning as we get older is unfortunately just a little bit, you know, harder to do. That, that's just the, the cold hard facts of it. But like I said, it doesn't mean it can't be done and that you should be discouraged. It just means that, you know, we need to take advantage of things that we've learned uh, by like prioritizing stuff. Obviously there are many advantages to starting when you're older and disadvantages. So now for one, you're probably a lot better at organizing your time, getting things together the way they're supposed to be, utilizing your time, stuff like that. Then maybe as a, you know, as a younger player, we might just kind of like, I'm going to play whatever today, you know? So you might have a lot more of a, a appreciation for the time that you have. So just because, you know, technically learning things is a little bit more difficult when we're older, shouldn't discourage you. Uh, you just need to, like I said, make sure you're utilizing your time wisely and I'm it, it'll be fine. <laughs> And the next thing is if you are really wanting to kind of jumpstart things, I highly recommend, some people might disagree, but I highly recommend getting a teacher, preferably a one-on-one -on -one teacher that you can sit down with and they can show you things like hand positions, posture, um, all these different ideas that you can kind of like jumpstart a lot of your playing. I know uh, I started with a teacher and I really feel like it helped me a lot when I was first starting to learn to play guitar. It was so crucial that, you know, they corrected a lot of these you know, quote unquote, bad habits that I probably would have developed. Um, I didn't, you know, I, I didn't have a teacher my entire learning process. A lot of it I learned on my own. But those beginning stages, I think it's, it's I think it's pretty crucial to have someone there to kind of help you with that. Because I know as a teacher, I've had a lot of students who came in much later in life, um, and they they unfortunately did have some bad habits that we needed to correct so they could properly play some of the stuff that they wanted to play. Some of the bigger stretches, you know, they we're used to only having their thumb over the neck or something like that. So it took us a little while to basically unlearn. So if you can, you know, get a good teacher, that that is a huge, huge benefit. There you have it guys, maybe you are a brand new beginner, maybe you've been playing for a long time, but you've primarily played blues. You can get it done, you can shred if you want to, you can leave your friends behind, because if your friends don't shred, and if they don't shred, well, they're no friends of mine. Bye guys. <laughs>